Picture. We're take good. Picture. Yeah, well, right I was waiting on. <laughs> We're good. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm Angel, and welcome to the annual Portello's Africon meal. Uh, this is a tradition that started at this point. What? Four, five years ago now. Pretty much. And it all started really. We have developed this thing that became the cool kids table. Can we post that? No post posting. That. No, it's not posting. And the cool kids table sort of developed out of a. Uh, well, initially I was I was at a. Uh, Con suite after hours, and I was working on a piece of artwork for making the new zigzag bot. And I had asked Max, who created the character, if there was any specific pattern for the tiger stripes. He goes, No, just the tail and the head. Mm -hmm. I was like, Okay, fine. And I'm working on my pattern on how I want to airbrush it. And somebody comes by and asks, can I sit with you? And I say, sure, sure. Everybody's welcome to the cool kids table. Yeah. Just, you know, because it, many of us remember in being in elementary, high school and all that, there was that clique of kids that everybody was like, oh, well, these are the cool kids. And most of them did, weren't interested in things like we're all interested in. You know, science fiction, fantasy, nerd and geek. And... I know many people that are in this particular hobby, you know, are pretty shy. And they, they use their costumes and such to come out of their shell, so to speak, so that they feel more comfortable socializing. <coughs> well, I've always been the type of person that when I would go to these social events in the school, you know, I see these people that they wanted to participate, but they were too nervous or shy to do it. So I would gravitate towards them and say, you know, hey, who are you? You know, my name's Angel. What, you know, what are you interested in? Try to draw them in so that they could feel more comfortable to participate in what was going on because I could tell they wanted to participate. They just didn't know how to approach. And when I told that person years later at this convention here, you know, well, go ahead. You know, everyone's welcome to the cool kids table. Got me thinking. What is it truly to be a cool kid? Okay? For me, it is having a general positive outlook on life. Okay? You know, yeah, you can be sad. Things can upset you. But, you know, generally it's like, you know, life's okay. And the other thing, don't be a jerk. You know, you see somebody else, you treat them with respect, honor. It's like what uh, Neko said earlier. But just, you know, don't be a jerk. You know, if somebody comes up, you know, say, hey, how's it going? And, and using terms like please and thank you a lot of times because when you do that for an individual, when you see them, when you create that, a simple smile can leave a positive mark. So, when I see people that are like that, that are generating positive attitudes towards others, to me, they're part of the cool kids table. So we have started having this as a little annual thing after the convention. And it's generally people that, you know, it's open to anyone, as long as you pick those two criteria. You know, be a general positive person, and don't be a jerk and we want people to feel welcome. So I'm very grateful to all of you for, for blessing me with your presence, for coming here and saying, hey, I kind of want to hang out. I want to see what's like, you know, hang out with other like-minded people. So I very much appreciate you all coming here and joining me at this meal <laughs> at this little place called Portello's because I think they got pretty tasty food and it's not too expensive. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I hope that your time at this convention has been good. 
mean, I, I've been involved in fandom almost all my life. First conventions I went to was in the mid '70s for CBs. You know, with my parents, and they were Star Trek fans, so I was always involved in Star Trek stuff. And then, of course, getting into comic books and Dungeons and Dragons, and I started going to conventions, working conventions. I mean, probably the biggest convention I've ever worked was uh, Star Wars Celebration Two, which had like 70,000 people, you know? And I was on staff there. Uh, and it's just always nice to see all these people get together of like-minded in these different genres, be it, uh, you know, science fiction, fantasy, furry, kickeroomy, whatever. It's people sharing their passions with each other and just having a darn good time. So thank you again for coming and sharing your experiences with us. Yay! Go, <laughs> Angel. So yeah. Oh.